just do a quick recap of what we had done last time so uh, we had understood what mlops actually is we had discussed why we need mlops and to know why we need mlops we had actually discussed what machine what challenges a machine learning life cycle or a machine learning end to end life cycle faces which is why there was this need of something uh, you know uh, like like an mlops uh, a theory like this so what was the purpose behind it so let's let's just do a quick uh, recap so i remember mentioning about this one paper which was released which was uh, published in 2015 uh, wherein you know the, the author spoke about how in production machine learning models can really uh, you know behave in a weird way and as a result the the performance of the entire model and therefore all the other uh, things which are associated with the machine learning algorithm can face the consequences right now this may sound like a very generic term so let me let me go back to the concept of uh, model failure like why would a model fail or what what is the need of uh, you know uh, considering that a model which has already been trained why do i need to even bother about its failure so there were different topics that we had discussed like data drift in brief of course why we need to monitor a model and how how that can be done using mlops as a concept we'll do that today in detail um basically what mlops is is that it is a combination of devops and machine learning okay devops uh, precisely is something that you do in these uh, software engineering firms where in there uh, there are certain uh you know applications which are already there in production they are continuously tested they are continuously evaluated and then various experiments are conducted based on which you get some results and then you like improve your model so the best example that i remember giving clearly in the last live session was um every day you wake up in the morning i said this last time i'll say this again every time you wake up in the morning the first notification you get when you turn your data on is so and so updates new updates have been found or so and so updates are pending for those who use android i'm pretty sure because i get that every day that these are the new updates which are pending so what is this update actually you were already using whatsapp you were already using microsoft teams what is the need of this update it's precisely because a there is some bug in a particular version and therefore you need to remove that bug the moment you remove that bug this this new version needs its own identity so we call it a different version so that's how a new update has come in or some other uh, i i don't think whatsapp has uh, too many uh, competitors in today's world but say say alicious or 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 a fresh to home or these these delivery apps so they are like the the application the web the software application that they uh, you know provide to us as customers there could be something that the new feature that alicious has come up with and now fresh to home needs to incorporate that and something more so this competition keeps growing and as a result of it there could be some changes that you need to bring about in the application then there could be change in behavior of the user okay that could lead to some implementations that you need to do all this keeping in mind you just need to remember that this continuous evaluation and testing is done for the sake of the organization's betterment in the sense that all they need to do is sit with the code there is a certain code which runs at the back end which you hit and then you get the outputs everything is done in your on your user interface but there is a slight difference when it comes to machine learning algorithms or machine learning projects okay if you if you have a particular application which does a certain prediction task for you okay it could be a biomedical thing it could be it could be so many other sources it could be uh, something that predicts uh, you know weather there are so many different things it depends on the sensor it depends on other a lot of other instruments which are involved in the project now in such cases ideally it's not just the code it's also the data which is fed to the model a machine learning algorithm does not work on code solely okay it's very easy it's like from sk learn dot ensemble import import random forest classifier Ran, uh, rcf is equal to random forest classifier you open brackets you put some parameters that's that's all that it's needed okay then you fit it and then you make predictions the coding part is not complicated it's the data on which you train it it's the data which it predicts so data plays a huge role and that's where you need devops principles but you need to incorporate them with machine learning and that is exactly what mlops is mlops is a combination of devops and machine learning concepts 
Okay, this was the basic introduction of what MLOps is. What it lets you do is it lets you automate a lot of uh, processes. It lets you, uh, you know, do all of this, all the all the training and everything. You just have it scripted. Everything will be done by MLOps, and continuously it will be done. It will be done continuously whenever you set it in production. You just need to like few clicks of a button, and that's it. Like today, like. the the coding the whatever i show you when i show it to you you'll get to see it's just a matter of few clicks and that's it that's how amazing this concept is okay so moving ahead to today's concept now this is the prerequisite that you want that i wanted you guys to know before we started off with today's uh, you know session so let us get to know the principles of mlops now this is something which i purposely did not discuss last time because the principles is exactly that link it up 